Yo, 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 what's happening, everybody? It's your main name, Mr. Brookshire, and we are so back with my co-host, Miss China Marie. Ah, See, I got it right. I, I got it. I was looking I right at you. I got that. You just like, China. <laughs> we're so loud right here real talk with brookshire everyone and again like we always do we have some special special guests in here we just got finished interviewing my good friend octavius terry now we're getting ready to go straight into one of my other good friends long long again back new york time yeah. frame we got jamal c choreographer extraordinaire is that a pretty is that what it is? Because, I mean, you legend. Like, mm. I mean, you doing your thing, man. You've been doing your thing a long time. I met you a long time ago. Yeah. Doing your thing, Thizzle. So, again, welcome, welcome, welcome to the house. I appreciate you. you being here. Thank you for taking the time. I know you had tons of things to do, but you decided to be here with us. No, and we appreciate important. you. It's important. No, I appreciate you. Thank you so Thank much. You. I, I don't take that for granted at all. Thank Definitely. You. So, let's get straight into it now. How, okay, there's a lot of folks in LA. There's a lot of folks in New York that's dancers. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now right. you've been doing this industry for about how long now? Uh, I'm not about, trying to tell your age. No, no, no. I mean. No, I've been doing it for like 18 years. So 18 yeah. years you got into it. Now yeah. tell us what got you started. How did you get from? And you're from where? Rancho Cucamonga. So you from? I, I love saying Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> I, I love the right, I right, right, right. Yeah. I eat baby. <laughs> Okay, so now, how did this come about? Were you always a dancer? Were you dancing in your diapers? Like, how did this come up yeah, for you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I don't remember not dancing. Like, right. I, I can't remember. So, you know, I was a Soul Train dancer. Oh, wow. When I was two years old. In my living room. Oh! <laughs> So, I'm about to say, know, wait. I was like, wait. No, no, no. no. I, I, I couldn't make it. On the line, get down with the get down. Okay. No, 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 no. I couldn't make it out to the tapings. <laughs> but in my head, I was a soul train dancer. <laughs> Every Saturday morning was my time. You right. Know? So I did that. I did that from, you know, from early ages and, and, and going there to being in high school. And what, what, what I thought I was going to do was be a singer. I thought, Really? Yeah, I thought I was going to be a singer. I wanted to be a new addition. So what I, wow. did, what I did is I threw together a group. We, we were called Fresh Attraction. So not new fresh addition, attraction. fresh attraction. Okay. Wow. So, yeah. So, so Catchy? We did that. Was that? That was catchy. Yeah. You know, catchy it, it could have worked. Right. But, and, <laughs> <laughs> but so long story short, we got on the show. We did a lip sync show. Wow. Called Putting on the Hits back in the day, you know. And uh, we won, blah, blah, blah. So we ended that. Um, we started singing. So okay. We, we thought we could sing. We we could hum a tune, but we couldn't really <laughs> sing. You know what I mean? So, um, but funny enough, I was doing the choreography for the group, mm -hmm. and we would do shows around LA, and um, people would come and be like, "Man, y'all could y'all could dance, y'all could." Y'all can dance. Right. <laughs> yeah, y'all can, right. can dance, yeah, man. Can dance, you know? <laughs> so, so that was the thing that, that everybody kept saying was y'all can dance. And so we kept going, but we got a record deal. Oh, wow. Because really, you know, this music industry is kind of crazy. It's yeah, like, you know, buddy. it's about a package. Yes. So we had the package, you know. I mean, some of the people thought we was cute. Some of the people thought we could dance. <laughs> right. And they didn't really care that we couldn't sing. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> they gave us a record deal. We recorded an album, and um, they changed the name. We put out the album, and um, long story short, the the record company went out fold though. Oh, so wow. none of the none of the music came out, and um, you know I was devastated. I was like seventeen, okay, and uh, I didn't know what to do. And uh, a friend of mine was like, "Yo, Michael Jackson is having an audition for Remember the Time down in L.A.," and it's, it was in the paper. And I was like, "Well." Let me go on down there. So me and my brother and my cousin, uh, my cousin, my brother Woogie and my cousin Brad. Woogie, and a couple, yeah, that's my brother. <laughs> that's right. a name. Yes, Woogie. Yes, absolutely. That's a name. Woogie, 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 yeah. Woogie, Woogie. So, <laughs> so we went down there and we auditioned <laughs> all together, and um, I ended up getting the job. And uh, how was that feeling for you? That was incredible. With it Michael, was, it was. It was a dream. It, he was the reason why I started dancing when I was two. Right. I mean, it. You know, I, I followed his career so closely and emulated everything he did. And um, to be able to, for my first audition, my first job, even the the, the nut crack grabbing yeah, like I, said, I, did, I did, like you had it all. I did it all. <laughs> yes. It all. So yeah. So. That was my first music video. Was remember the time? My first thing I ever danced in, first audition, wow. and we went on to do that. And from there, I went on. I toured with an artist named Karen White, who was one of my favorite people in the world. Wow. And uh, I got a lot of experience just in being a dancer from that. And then uh, from there, I I knew that 
it wasn't enough. And I knew that creative things were coming out and I, and I didn't know how to, how I was going to take it to the next level. Right. But, uh, and I, and I guess in high school, this is something that you never offered a choreographer. It's like a lawyer, a doctor, you know what I mean? Right. You got, you, you don't see <laughs> choreographer ain't in the, uh, curriculum uh, yeah, uh, it ain't. choices in high yeah, school yeah. or college no, for no, some no, cases. No, no, no. Yeah. It ain't in the career center. Yes. You know what I mean, so, <laughs> I'm like, so I didn't know it was a job. I didn't know it was something I could make money. I didn't know I could, you know, make a living at that. So I, right. I went ahead and uh, um, I I said, well, this is probably something I'm really good at because I was choreographing my group. We were winning shows. We were doing everything. You know, we got a record deal off of us dancing. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, today. Yeah. so I was like, well, let me, <laughs> I said, let me check this out. So I went and... Um, uh, uh, a friend of mine, a partner of mine, we we went and we auditioned to choreograph for Usher. Oh wow! And uh, we we put together a, 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 a video and they liked it and we choreographed "You Make Me Wanna." And then get out of here. That was our first yeah. music video. And from that point, it went from music. We were doing music videos with uh, my best friend uh, Billy Woodruff, who is a great friend of mine. Who he kind of is the reason why I'm here today because. He put me on to so many music videos. And back in that day when You Make Me Wanna was out, everybody was doing the dance video. Right. You know what I mean? Everybody was dancing. So uh, we did everybody from like Brown Song, TLC. I mean, it just went on and on and on. And then from that point, um, I started doing commercials. And then I uh, started doing live stage shows, concerts. And then uh, recently I just did, I mean, I'm doing movies now. Right. And I just finished my 23rd film. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the transition from doing videos, we go from doing Michael Jackson, Remember the Times. Now, my question is, and I always ask people that have worked with Michael, what did that do for your new, your other jobs in the future, having that on your resume? Did that help? Uh, you know, it did. It didn't help. It, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't help. You know, I, I, think, I think it helped my, my confidence. Right. Right. So that's what helped. But okay. I mean, I think in LA, you're only as good as your last job. Wow. And people don't really care too much what you did, you know, as what you're doing right now at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I did remember the time when I was 17, but, you know, I went on tour after that and I was gone for a year. And then they were like, well, what are you doing now? And I'm like, I don't know. I can dance. Right. Know, okay. right. I can dance. <laughs> so, so, so that's, you know, so it, it's, it's constantly, you're constantly having to prove yourself. Um, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a hard, hard thing to, to, to do, keep, keep your career moving. But, you know, I, I feel like if I did it once, I could do it again. Right. right? So I can get there again. So that's what I keep having to do. And Interesting. Yeah. So music videos to movies, to commercials, yeah. dancing. Now, yeah. is it something different when you do dancing in a video versus dancing in a commercial versus dancing in a movie, what is did you notice the difference in the three? Uh, well, uh, when, when, if you're speaking about choreography, choreography, yeah, you know, in a music video, it's cut up, it's booty shake. You know what I mean? Like you, you'll see one step over here, and then they may cut it up, and they may use another step in the end. So right. there's really no story to it. In a commercial, you're selling a product, so mm. the choreography is based around a product and right. something that you're selling. In a movie, you're telling a story. So all those are very three different things that you need to, you know, understand. But um, but in 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 film, which I love, okay, because I love to tell stories in my dance. That's that's where my heart is, and that's you know, and that's why I've you know, uh, recently started directing, and uh, yeah, so interesting. I now, love it. Now, directing movies or directing dance in movies, or both. I've I've directed dance in movies already, so now I'm just I want to do films. I want to do direct movies. Yeah. Now, what is the big difference? Is it is it something whenever? Okay, this question. What makes a good choreographer? Do you do you go back and depending on what it is, you go home and you're sitting in the mirror like and five and six and seven and eight and, <laughs> and, hold, and, and two move. and three? Like, are you you know? And then you come into your table and you try to come back and remember. How does the process work for you? The creative process. Well, it's, it's different. It's, well, it's, right. No, no, it's, it's different. You know, it's every movie's different because you know I did Hairspray, right? Right. And that was. 60s we you know it's a movie that we're dancing we're, we're doing dances of the 60s so i couldn't prepare for it like i would prepare for step up right which is a, a we're dances that are happening now you know what i mean right i, I you know I, for for the 60s i use inspirations like my mom my dad uh my aunts i went over there to my aunt my aunt tina's house <laughs> and we danced with them I, I put them on video 
And they, you know, they were talking about, oh, this is a mashed potato right here. Oh, this is a hella gully right here. You know what I mean? So I'm learning all these dances, and I had no idea. But I seen them do it at parties, and I'm like, oh, Lord. Right. But, but that is, may end up making the movie. You know what I mean? All those stuff, all the stuff in the history that they had in dance, I used in that. And then so with Step Up, you know. I now I have to use the younger kids that right. that rely on the street. You know what I mean? So mm. um, so it, you know it's just it depends on the project. Now how is that? Because there's so many people coming and creating stuff. Yeah. You know with their ways to move <laughs> their bodies right. and necks and right. joints and stuff that you never thought of. When you get someone or uh, that has this crazy way of moving, yeah. how do you? How do you take a person that has a crazy way of moving and being able to choreograph them and for somebody that doesn't know how to move? How do you teach the difference? Well, yeah, no, it, if you if you already know how to move, we're good. Right. right? So I, I can get you to where the people that don't know how to move, that's the problem. Right. right? So, But it's all about confidence. It's all about making these people feel comfortable enough to make mistakes. To, to make them feel crazy for a second. Because, yeah, you might look stupid for the first two days, mm-hmm. but the next day on the third day, you're going to get something. If right. it's a snap on the right beat, you're getting it and you're learning. So I just think that pe- you have to make people feel comfor- comfortable and confident and then they'll be able to let down the guard and do some stuff. And that, that's hmm. what I'm, you know. Interesting. Now, we know that in dancing, you've been doing this 18 years. Yeah. It's things that work on the body. Yeah. You're definitely putting a lot of pressure on your joints and your body. Yeah. 17, when did you start noticing, okay, uh, I'm going to shift into the choreography part or when is there a part in your dancing to where it you should start shifting from is there a time I don't think so just depends on how you feel yeah it's all about you know what I mean I love to be active I love to do stuff so I really feel stronger and better with my body than I did when I was 17 wow so I don't ever really feel like there's a time to stop or to slow down or I feel like now I'm just like picking up and I want to learn more styles of dance and I want, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's really strange, but you know, I think that, you know, I think that we're all programmed to, you know, slow down, slow down, sit down somewhere. Right. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to do that. You know, I want to go the opposite. Right. Yeah. That's just. Yeah. So now challenges, because I know that it's never an easy road as you're towards your dream and your destiny. And I'm guessing that you feel like this is your purpose. Absolutely. Or you're in your place. Yes. You're, you're in your place where you fit. Yeah. How do you make it through the challenges when uh, that have come your way? What mm-hmm. what have you stood on for you? Well, you know, I, I, I'm all about, you know, I, this is not me. This is God's plan, right? Right. So really, when okay. I wake up, <laughs> when I wake up, okay. I'm just stepping into the to the program. You right. know what I mean? It's already what I'm gonna do that day has already been written, and and I just go with go with it with a positive attitude, and you know I just let it work itself out. I I don't worry about too much. Hmm. I don't. That's an amazing thing. Now yeah. you're known as probably a famous choreographer. You know how does that feel for you? Even though you might, I mean, I've, I've interviews tons of people that they never really look at certain words a certain way but when you look at the word fame what does that mean for you um are famous no no i don't i don't think that i'm famous and 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 this is not to be like humble or you know anything (laughs) it's just to be like you know i'll go to some place and be like and you are you know what i mean <laughs> so i'm not famous you, you know ain't never I mean? did like know. a who you don't know me no, you better get the memo they no, email no. you first none of that came okay. none of that you know because i don't think that you know I, I think that i've done some things that people might have known but i never take for granted you know where i am and, and wh- who i am and right. i don't expect you to know who what i've done so i don't really think that i'm famous you know some of the work might be famous but right not so me yeah interesting so I watched the movie Honey, right? Yeah, huh? You know, and I remember the one part on Honey that was the best part is when she opens her check up and she sees this big old check, like the biggest <laughs> check that she's ever gotten, you know, at that time in her life. When can you take us to a moment to where you experienced something similar mm. to where it was just like, mm. <laughs> like, did you, have you ever had one of those moments? You know what? I did. And this is the weirdest. <laughs> this is, is going to be really, really funny. And it was, um, uh, I did. I did hairspray the movie. Right. right? So um, I was just work. Started working in films. You know, recently. I mean, not recently, but at that point it was recent. Right. And it was Christmas time, and I had bought a house. Right. And I had did. You know, the things that I've always wanted to do. But now Christmas time, I was like, my account's a little low. You know what I mean? Right. I'm like, 
And I, oh, I like to buy gifts for people. And I'm like, oh, man, this is probably going to be like a, a, you know, like a low mel, you know, low key Christmas. So. Right. There's a check. It's a low key kids. Yeah, low yeah, key Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> Give me your card. <laughs> right. So I, so I opened the check, and I, I, I couldn't believe what a residual check looked like. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> as choreographers, we don't get that. You know what I mean? Oh wow. And so I danced in this movie as well, and so it was my first like real residual check where I didn't work. This was just stuff that was coming in from. You know, sales of the movie and right. I ha- it was unexpected, and I was like, w- I hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm doing more movies. I'm, yes, in every every movie I get in, if you see my face, you know why. I'm looking for that low key Christmas cash. <laughs> I can definitely dig that. Now, to you, what is the difference between talent and skill? Mm, I think that you know, I think that there's people that are naturally gifted right that have talent you know what i mean and that and then i think there are people that have to work at it hmm. and i think that everybody should work out i think some people it comes easier than others so i mean talent is god given i i, I believe i think that you can um uh, sharpen your skills hmm. in, in, when you have talent but i think there's some people that you know want to dance that may never really be a great dancer hmm. you know what i mean but you know, there's some people that just have it, you know, and um, but I would always say, you know, we need to sharpen our skills. Right. I can definitely dig that. Now, I'm going to throw something at, at, at necessarily with the both of you, um, because, again, it is with teamwork. Teamwork is a definitely a big part. And I know y'all are best friends. How has having the right team and having that right uh, person helping you guiding you how has that been for the both of you? And I guess you can take turns answering with each each other necessarily. I mean, I think it's. I think it's when you have creative people. I think that you should surround yourself with people who are doing more than you're doing and the thing and doing things that you're doing. Because like even now, like on the ride over here, right. I'm, I asked him. We're. At, I'm asking him because my collection comes out in March. Right. I'm like, okay, what font should I use for my name and everything like that? <laughs> right. So, <laughs> so it's just one of those things. Like, let me tell you, but this is how we do. Let's be real. Like, nah, let's not say, I want to right. do that. This uh, real talk oh, too. Real talk. Yes. China, you know what I'm talking about. Listen, <laughs> we'll go like this. We'll say, "Oh, uh, what you?" I'll say, "What you think about you know uh, this step? What do you think about this step?" And then he'll say, "Oh, I think you should, you know, you should have did it like that." And blah blah blah. <laughs> and, I'll like, and I'll say, "No, no, no, I shouldn't have did that." <laughs> uh, you know, I'll say, "Thank you for, thank you, thank you for all that." But I, I got this. I, I got I'm, this. I'm the choreographer right here, right? But. Now the door shut. The door shut. <laughs> and then I'll be like, maybe he had a yeah, point. I I <laughs> <do that." laughs> so the finished product will be what, probably what he said. Right. But, you know, yeah. getting to that point that's, is, is always that's a that thing about being competitive, but you, right. wanna, you want, you know, you want creative advice from other creative people. Right. But you want to be able to hold some of that credit a little bit. Right. Like, okay. Yeah. Well, I might think about so it. how do you two not stay being best? Because you know that happens sometimes when you're being successful in yours and then you're getting your yeah. success, especially mm-hmm. in the transition. Mm-hmm. How? Because you went from helping him plan, make his money right, right. to actually being in the position where you are now the artist. How was that not being able to look at that other person and be envious? How did you be able to keep it in perspective no i think we're lucky because like uh he's probably one of my biggest mod like all the red carpet stuff that he does i do um i cut and sew and do all his red carpet stuff so that's awesome i see that (laughs) 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 which we fight we fight over (laughs) (laughs) just to let y'all know he's a hard client but i think i think that we creatively we we creatively we push each other we push each other so far yeah and that you know it's 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 it's, it's good to be able to pick up the phone or be there like like I say even ride here right. and be like okay what you think about this font or he say okay I'm doing you know divas next week you know what do you think about that can you sketch this up can we do that so we just you know and I we think, feed off each other yeah and I think that that you you asked what success is for for you I mean you right. said talk right yeah what is it for you for me being able to somebody that needs help you That's know what I mean up. Or, or to help them fulfill their dreams yeah that that is Which success to me yeah. so when i see him doing yeah. his thing i'm like 
I did everything I need to that's do. That's awesome. You know what I mean? That's and right. you just keep paying it forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that that's how you should. I mean, I think that's how it should be. You know? So I'm going to say something really quick. Yes, sir. Uh, we still haven't had the time where I'm supposed to be coming and cooking so y'all can taste my food. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't trying to come into all of that, but you know, I ain't, <laughs> you, you, you got to help people. Now, let me tell you. That we're kitchen, talking about helping. That kitchen ain't been touched. <laughs> <laughs> this kitchen ain't been touched. Right. The pots that ain't been baked. That's, a, that's the one thing I'm not creative is in the kitchen. Me neither, <laughs> yeah. no, that is, it just looked good, right? Absolutely. For somebody yes. else to come on in yeah. to be able to take care of it. So yeah. we're going to be wrapping this up really quick, and it's just always interesting as we're going. We're going to be wrapping this up. How do we, for each of you? Where is the place that you're most at peace? Because there's always ruckus going on and chaos going on. Where do you find yourself most at peace? Oh, uh, uh, on the couch. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. It's it's so funny. Like I really enjoy being home. I like to rent movies. I right. like to sit on the couch and chill. I, I, I really like to just, I, I love movie films. So I like to sit on the couch and watch movies and uh, Instagram. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Instagram. Instagram. Okay. And what about you, Mr. Terry? Yeah, I think I think the car is, for me, I like to just get in the car and just drive. Really? And just, you know, because I'm a visual person. I like oh. just taking, you know, a route where I can just, not worry about traffic, even though I worry about traffic a lot. But, you know, just to kind of, you know, you might see something that you haven't and get inspired by something, and then I can sing as loud as I want to and bother nobody and that right. kind of thing. So I call, can yeah. definitely dig that. Definitely yeah. dig that. That's always interesting. So before we wrap this up, Jamal, this is going back for you. What is the one thing that you know for sure, my brother? Uh, I know for sure that if you treat I, – I, I know for sure that, you know, just from me, that you have to treat people the way you want to be treated. Right. And I, I, I definitely know that because I think we're also insecure and always trying to, you know, better ourselves. But, you know, we have to help each other. I can concur with that yeah. totally. Fellas, I just want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for y'all coming blast, on, oh, on the no, show so and, and hanging out with me, to, yeah. <laughs> hanging out with us and Absolutely. really gracing the presence with you. Yes. Because, I mean, it's all about being able to take this information and give it back to the people yes. in a way that they can do something with it. Yes. And so I'm so glad that you guys came in. You were Absolutely. so candid about coming mm -hmm. in and just telling your stories from Real what we got time. out. And like I always do, I want to be able to give you two guys oh, a gift oh, and pass that along down oh, from me oh, to you oh, for coming in. And I thank you so much. And again, for just taking the time um, and this is from LA Talk Live Real Talk with Brookshire me and China that we thank you so much and we look for continued success let this be a platform yes. we would love to be able to display your clothes yes. if you want to come and do a couple of dance moves yeah. Yeah. we got the space <laughs> you feel me you want to make up yeah. something we can help you with that be able to make it work I want to say that you can follow our, uh, yes. know, our, our, can our careers you? on Instagram yes. I'm Octavius O-C-T-A-V-I-U-S J-R-O-M and Jamal is at Jamizi Oh seven. It's just oh, at Jamizi. At Jamizi. How you spell Jamizi? J A M I Z Z I. Yeah, there it is. You can see us on the red carpet. Yeah. What he's doing with everybody, that kind of thing. And yeah. also, we're proud of you, man. Yeah, thank thank you. let you know that. Man. Yeah, oh, thank yeah. you. We thank really you. Are. I appreciate you know, it. Like, I love to see that. Yeah, thank absolutely. you. Thank you for having Thank you, and I, and I appreciate y'all coming in and, and enjoying yourselves with us. And we thank you, and again to my beautiful co-host, yes, China. Miss China. China. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll eat you in. I got your back. You got my back, baby. I appreciate you so much. And Van, of course, thank you for coming yes, down. Yes. Thank you so absolutely. much. Absolutely. And again, thank everybody, you, we thank you. We thank you because, again, again, and again, and again, where the mind goes, where your mind goes, where your mind goes, the body will follow. Remember, you see us sitting up here doing this, and we're telling our stories. Every week, you see somebody here telling their stories about what they've accomplished and how they made it through the mess, the, 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 the rough patches to mm -hmm. still come out on top mm -hmm. to be able to shine no matter what remember diamonds to get to the diamonds you got to go deep yeah. but they're there and it, they're there and if you get to them you can create a lot of things once you actually have them diamonds is an yeah. amazing thing yeah, you feel me so everybody we just want to continue to say again i know right yeah. i need a couple <laughs> okay we love you so much we love you so much and again this Thanks. is real talk with brookshire we'll be back next week every week definitely keep your eyes tuned in again with my co-host miss china marie we love you so much Yay. And I'll holla. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good night. There we go for fun forever. How it makes me happy. Cause it's a beautiful day. Beautiful. Beautiful day. Beautiful. Cause sometimes you just have to let go. Blah, blah, blah.
Together I'm floating on night cloud And I'm so excited I'm ready to go with the flow Let's roll How it makes me happy